Hello, I'm reviewing a movie I enjoyed. I give this a 10 out of 10 and it's called The Wizard of Oz. I'm giving, telling tell you why I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Well, technically I'm also, uh, you know, exploring this weak points while actually enjoying it, saying I'm enjoying the weak parts of the movie. Ready? Oh, can so the reason why I give the original Judy Garland's Wizard of Oz from the 1939 is because, well, I never cared for any of the characters. I just, I felt like it was kind of uh, stupid how the whole thing and Oz takes place in Judy Garland's character's head because she woke up from a dream. So the only reason why she ended up in the land of Oz is because she was having a fever dream because she was having a concussion. And she was that cold. I guess the tornado that came to Kansas. That's how she ended up in Oz. And that's when the film turned to color. So all of that film, all of that film, all of that film, the best part of the film that's in color, which is the majority of the part of the film, is bullshit. Storytelling. Because it never happened. As a kid, that always pissed me off. And as an adult, it still kind of does piss me off. Especially when we wake up in the land of the real world, it's always in black and white. Not in color. Color for Oz is, is, uh, uh, Oz is always in color. When we're in the land of Oz, but that's because we're in Dorothy's head. Because the land Oz doesn't exist. Because this whole thing is a dream in Dorothy's head. We find out at the end of Oz. When she finds out she was asleep the whole time. When she had the strangest dream that she describes her time in Oz. Which gives her the courage to stick up to the old lady that wanted to destroy Toto. Because she's a bitch. I guess, uh, a cold winch is what we call that person. And she's meant to resemble the Wicked Wisp of the West in Dorsey's head, I guess, in her fever dream. And the two dunderheads that Dorsey's best buds in real life are also the represent the, the, the seem to, uh, uh, the, there's like two dunderheads in this, or three dunderheads, I forget. There's three friends that Dorsey runs into, I think. early on in the film that kind of represent the Tin Man and the Scarecrow fella that we see in Oz. And I guess... I don't know which one represents... I'm not really sure which one represents the lion, but, uh... that, 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 that uh, that Dorothy saw in reality that, that kind of looks similar to the one 
that that kind of uh, kind of behaves some maybe uh, because this this whole movie is basically in Dorothy's head, the part in Oz, because. Keep in mind, it's never revealed that this is a, that she's dreaming until the very end, when she wakes up, and ready to tell this person to piss off and that she can't have Toto destroyed, um, or something. I forget what like a. It rests. Uh, how like how how the rest and this and that's like um both of very represent I guess the witch that she melted in the uh, end of the movie and threw a bucket of water over the witch and this melted like it was acid. For the witch, and that's how the witch died at the end. The Wicked Witch of the West, the green one. Yeah, it's not the good, not the good, uh, sexy witch that uh, that's uh, lying with the peel of cunt. The uh, also is kind of that's also that's also buddy buddies with the freaky munchkin munchkins characters. And yes, no, no, no. I did not make that up. That's literally what the film calls them. The Munchkins. That's not me insulting short people. The, the movie actually calls them Munchkins. And they're played by midget people. The Munchkins. And they call themselves the Munchkins. <laughs> And why well, I don't know why the, that good witch is a manipulative cunt is because she could have told Dorothy the whole time how to get home and the answer of how uh, of the the and the answer to the to how to get home is that she could have gone home the whole time. If she just clicks her shoes together and closes her eyes and says there's no place like home. With the ruby red slippers that she got from the Wicked Witch of the West. That she... Wicked Witch of the West sister. Uh... Uh... That she killed by accident by dropping the, uh... The... The, uh... Little house on her. And that's how she, and the reason how she got a hold of the ruby slippers is because the good, good, good English cast the ruby slippers onto Dorothy. Permanently. So, to put a target on Dorothy's back for some reason, I guess. Because she's a cruel person. Because that is supposed to tag on Dorothy's back, and now the Wicked Witch of the West, the Green Witch, is out for revenge and blood. Because, one, that person killed her sister, and also because, uh, robbed her. The corpse. Of her sisters. You know, walking around with the slippers of her sisters. So that's what the Wicked Witch of the West's goal is, okay? So her and a flying monkey's army. Flying monkeys that like, the, see, the monkeys, I shit you not, I'm not making this up. The monkeys are, monkeys with bat wings. They're flying monkeys with bat wings. <laughs> yes. I'm not on too many drugs. Uh, I'm not. Oh yes, I'm not on the many. I'm not on the guy. I'm not the guy that made this film up. 
the guy who made this film up was on was probably uh, was 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 probably was more whacked in the head than me. I'm convinced on that. The guy that wrote this story, angering that the final cut of this movie was more whacked in the head than me. Oh, and you know the oh, I like the I like how the fact that the Wizard of Oz is basically just like old con alias <laughs> fucking with people, rubbing out people off and uh, kind of fucking with people. <laughs> to just pose as a wizard. <laughs> it was very really funny how that was revealed in the Wizard of Oz, this movie, when he says, Hey, no, what? Attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> so it is, uh, like, he, it's like, it's just like, it's like, you're wondering how dumb can this guy be? <laughs> it's like, how dumb can you be? No way he's falling for that. <laughs> I could fall for that. <laughs> And that's why I give, excuse me, I had to clear my throat. The reason why I give that movie a 10 out of 10 is for all these wonderful reasons that I just mentioned. This Wizard of Oz movie. From Stu Gowan, from 1939. And uh, I'm trying to forget, forget, I'm trying to remember something, okay? I'm going to clip my uh, uh, button. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Oh, I need to advertise content, okay? So don't go away, I need to advertise content. Uh, I'm just going to finish advertising my content now, okay? Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell first by hanging, then hit the subscribe button, and that's how you get subscribed. Hit the thumbs up, the like button, uh, hit the li like button, uh, hit the thumbs up, and hit the thumbs up on all the videos. If you like my, when you get a chance to my other videos, like them, when you get a chance. And uh, subscribe to my content. Share my content with other people who might want to watch my content. Okay, my audience. Bye-bye. Good night.